everyone, Kim Lantis with Doja Live here at High Tech 2024, speaking with Warren DeHan, who is the president of Maestro. Warren, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Kimberly. Glad to be here. I bet. You know, I bet it's been a really busy experience for you. Are you tired yet? Last day? You know, <laughs> uh, high tech is always a whirlwind. Um, started with canceled flights, but the, the challenges of travel. Uh, but you got here, the team all got here, and uh, it has been a whirlwind three days. Glad to uh, be at the tail end here. Yeah. Uh, but happy, looking forward to an <laughs> exciting last day, and um, and then we plan for next year. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry to hear that we have flight difficulties in common. Um, that's no fun. Uh, but as we get started today, I really would just like to speak about your extensive and impressive career in the hospitality industry. We're looking mm -hmm. at 40 plus years. Yeah, 45 plus years what's for that, Maestro. What's that look like for you? Well... Uh, I had more hair <laughs> and more black in the beard. Um, you know, the the, uh, the business started, it was my father who founded the business in 1978. It was many computers, and I know we don't have hours for this, so I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try and be somewhat brief. Um, but we would develop software for anyone who needed software developed on many computers. Okay. And it was a major Canadian hotel chain that approached us to develop software for these computers. You, there was no internet. You couldn't buy software at a store. And so we would, uh, we would develop software. And we first developed a travel agency commissions payable, guest history management, and a full accounting suite. That was our start. Okay. And um, we developed this for this hotel chain. And we liked the industry so much, we decided that why don't we take the software and sell it to others? And that got us into the hotel space. And so by the early 80s, we were kind of focused on hotels. We rounded out the solution by developing a front office because our customers were looking for, okay, they had the back office. Mm -hmm but we need a front office. And so we developed our first PMS uh, in the uh, in the mid 80s. All right. And uh, Maestro is our third generation PMS. I'm, I'm skipping over 30 years of, um, you know, me doing support and training. My background, my background is actually a software developer, um, sales, and now as president, I basically make coffee at the office and make sure everyone's got what they need I to do their job. I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> well, <laughs> You have to earn it. <laughs> I love it. What keeps you excited? What keeps you in it all this time? You know, I've, I've been at this for a long time. And I will tell you that uh, it is the people. The hospitality people are the best. They're easy to work with. They're fun to work with. They're hard workers. But as a technologist, it is it is the technology. It is never been boring. Hmm. Technology has, I mean, I've watched technology change for over 40 years uh -huh. in this space. And, you know, you see a lot. And it, it never stands still. There's always something new driving technology, driving our innovation, driving the marketplace, and it keeps it interesting. I for mean, sure. For sure. So let's talk about the new, the innovative. That's what mm -hmm. high tech's for, yeah. to showcase this. What's going on at Maestro? What's what's the new here? Yeah. So from our perspective, you know, one of our uh, big announcements this year was our embedded payment solution, mm -hmm. MesoPay. Um, for us, it's a frictionless payment solution that is embedded into Maestro, uh, supported directly by us. So it's for us, it's a game changer because it brings a lot of convenience uh, and ease of use to our clients. Uh, and it's been very competitive and very well ad adopted by our client base. Um, there's other things we'll work on, of, of course. Of course. Um, you can, feel free to share if you'd like, or yeah. if it's still... Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> if we're showing it here, it's public knowledge. Um, you know, certainly uh, we've really been pushing our Maestro Touch product, which is a, a tablet UI. So Maestro, as you know, is a very sophisticated product, a lot of capabilities, functionality. Uh, you know, we're big in the independent hotel space and multi-property groups, and they have sophisticated needs. Yeah. But they also have simplified needs sometimes. If you're trying to line bust or do curbside check-in or really just, uh, you know, look up some data without going through the whole system, mm -hmm. it's very convenient to hold a tablet and go through what you need to do. And so we've created a new, a fresh UI to Maestro. It doesn't replace Maestro. It's part of Maestro. Okay. Uh, so and it's smart because so, the people using it are using tablets at home. We're, yeah, we're, yeah, used, to it, it, we're all exactly. used to it. And there's no specific tablet you have to get. So you can get a, a beautiful iPad if you have the money. You can get a Kindle Fire. It'll work. Uh, and so, so that opens it up to our clients to really have another ability to look at data, whether they're at home, whether they're roaming around the property, uh, and interact with guests at the same time. So that's that's something that we're, we're seeing great adoption for and we're very excited about. I love it. You know, talking about the industry, the market, what's happening, what were you seeing that's happening that led to the embedded payments particularly? Like, why is that super important right now? So if you look at all the security concerns and privacy concerns and the breaches that have happened, um, 
payments has become a big topic around security. And so trying to maintain PCI compliance for hotels, which is not easy. You know, PCI compliance is a, it's a moment in time. <laughs> You're compliant now and now we're not. And so you have to stay on top of those things. With our embedded payments platform, we get out of scope. So everything's tokenized, data coming in from the OTAs, tokenized, mm -hmm. all data entering my show is tokenized. So there's no PCI infraction that can happen because we don't have the credit card data. So that was one of the biggest drivers. In addition to the convenience of having the uh, payment application directly in Maestro. So if you, if you need to look at payments, you know, there's yeah. chargebacks or whatever there might be. It's all embedded in Maestro. You can go into Maestro, go on the screen and see exactly what you need to do to resolve an issue or just look at your balances for the day. I love it. So for hoteliers, they get to sleep easy. They feel safe. Yep. What are these other benefits? Like if you could go over those again, why should they be paying attention? What's it mean for you? Well, you know, one of the things that has always been a challenge, we pride ourselves on our reputation for uh, service and support and our ability to deliver a consistent and very high level of that. By eliminating another ability to have to call someone and, another have, and you can call us, right? <laughs> um, this means it's one hand to shake or one throat to choke. Um, and, and so hopefully not, hopefully not uh, because it's usually mine. But, um, you know, so from our perspective, it allows us to continue to deliver on our message of exceptional service because we can control that. So for hoteliers, they're not saying, oh, I've got this credit card issue or that or that maestro issue. I have, who do I call? Mm -hmm. They call us. Okay. And we take the call and we resolve the call for them. Like Uber when your order is not arriving. Maybe like Maybe. Uber. <laughs> Without the surcharges. We like that. We yeah. definitely like that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, my kind of final question here for you is just the future, the future of travel, hospitality mm -hmm. tech. It might be a difficult question, but I'd like for you to sum it up in one word. Where do you see all of this headed or what's the priority? One word. Technology is not the word I'm going to choose. Um, I'm going to say excitement. I've heard that one already. Uh, I haven't. So that's original for me. Um, but excitement about what's happening, <clears throat> what's happening in the guest journey, what's happening in technology, what's happening in, you know, AI, obviously we've had conversations yep, yep. about AI. All these things are exciting and they keep the industry uh, moving forward. They propel us forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's, you know, it's, um, as I said earlier in the discussion, it's always changing. It's always innovating. And it is exciting. I've been doing this show for decades. Like when we first started, you know, we've got a pretty big booth now. When we first started, really, really uh, cool it, was, it was me and my dad in a 10 by 10, you know, up against the wall there, you know, just trying to do the best we could. And over time, we built it up. And I've seen this industry change. I've seen the technology morph and pivot and you see consolidations and all the things that happen. But there's some amazing technology here at the show. There's amazing technology in hospitality and being a part of it and you know, contributing to it as best we can uh, has been really exciting and I'm very excited for the future. In these past 40 years with technology, using hospitality to get better and better? Absolutely. Um, you know, some things never change. You still want to be greeted by a smiling face at the front desk and you want that check-in to be efficient. Yep. And that hasn't changed in 40 years. Uh, but the guest journey has certainly changed. You know, guests are much happier with their phones sometimes after a long and sorted travel delay mm -hmm, day. Mm -hmm. um, and they just want to get to their room. And we have technology for that. Yep. Others, you know, maybe you're going for a week in a resort and you want to be greeted with a, a, a glass of something interesting and, and a nice smile. So, you know, I think that that's kind of, you know, my take on it is it, it's, it's always morphing and changing and pivoting. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Warren, it's my pleasure to meet you. Thank you for being on Dojo Live. Now, if somebody's not here, they didn't catch the booth, where they where can they find out more about Maestro? MaestroPMS.com. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.